Hey everyone, 412 Sports Guards here today, back with another video, and today I'm going to be answering a subscriber request for a video about what constitutes a player's true rookie card. Now, it can take a little bit to get into all this, so I'm just going to deal with baseball here today, and we're going to start it out by talking about what are the top sets to look for a true rookie card in. So i got a stack here of some examples, but what you're talking about here mostly are base-heavy sets with like big names. You're looking at your Tops, Flagship, your Heritage, Bowman Rookies, Gypsy Queen, not so much like high-end um, products with base cards. Those are not going to become like your true rookies. It's like this type of stuff. So we got like here, Tops like Flagship. This is Andrew Bogarts. is from Series 1 in 2014. So this is, for when I talk about Tops Flagship, I'm going to be talking about this whole series. So you got Tops like Series 1 and 2, Chrome, and you got like Chrome Update. Which is, I mean, looks very similar. It's just a different, you can see like it's been intended. It's just a different image on the Chrome update versus the Chrome. And update, which is, I mean, the same design as Series 1 and 2. This, I didn't have a Ben Intendi base update, so I just have to show you this. But so that's like Top's flagship, which is an example of what could be the top set. And then you've got like Heritage Rookies. This is from Heritage High Number, this Juan Soto. And then you've got a whole host of Bowman <clears throat> rookie options. You've got first Bowmans. You've got your like rookie Bowman paper, your rookie Bowman chrome, your Bowman rookie inserts. And then you got stuff like this Gypsy Queen. This is a base Gypsy Queen rookie. So of all of these, I think it's pretty safe to argue that you're looking at these. The top fl Topps flagship. This whole Topps flagship line, which I'm going to include Topps Chrome in for this discussion. That's where you're going to be looking to find um, the true rookie. It's going to be in there. But now the question kind of becomes, what in the Topps flagship line is the true rookie? And my answer is going to be that you almost always want the first paper rookie. That's what you're going to want. That's what you're going to be looking for. It seems to make common sense as like both a collector and investor that you would want the first one, but um, I mean, it can get confusing sometimes when players like, for example, Ozzy Albies have rookies in like series one and update and people have stuff in Chrome and then stuff comes out and update later for them and it can get really confusing. Um, but <clears throat> I mean, sorry about that. Topps flagship is just such a strong brand and paper rookie has been around for forever. So I think that's why they paper rookie tends to be the true rookie. So we're gonna to get to some examples. I've got three really good ones to show you guys, some like different cases. Um, and some of the cards that I have that are useful, I'm gonna to show to you. So first good example would be Cody Bellinger. So we got two notable releases for him. First tops card in like this like type of base, like flagship, which I include Chrome in line, is in Topps Chrome. This is Cody Bellinger's Topps Chrome rookie card. Um, it is his first, and they're selling for about $45 in a PSA 10. Now, what's really interesting is that even though this is his first card, it's it's Chrome, and there was later a Chrome card released in 2017, like Topps Update. So in Update, you have like Update Base like this, and then you would have Chrome versions of it. Um, basically, just the same design, but in Chrome. And those Chrome updates are selling for 125 in a PSA 10. They're selling for like three times what his first Chrome card is. His second Chrome card and update sells for three times what this one does. And those paper updates are going for 190. So it's clear that the paper update in a PSA 10 is the winner here. So I think what that shows you is that, I mean, it's the first paper rookie is what is really gonna perform and also like Chrome cards that are kind of fall into that same set, like the set that has your first paper rookie is what's going to dominate. Um, that's what you can kind of see here with the example of Cody Bellinger showing that that first Chrome card out was not the winner. Um, a second scenario that's kind of interesting is that of Aussie Albies. So here is just a Topps Chrome pink parallel. This is pretty much all I got of Albies. Um, so Albies had rookies in Topps Series 1, in Topps Chrome, and he had Topps Chrome Update um, rookies. Um, it's important to know when you're talking about Update, by the way, just a little tangent. When you're talking about Update, you are looking for the Update cards like this. See how it does not say, like, Rookie Debut? You do not want the Rookie Debuts, or the ones that have, like, an All-Star Game logo here. 
those are not going to be your true rookies. Those sell for significantly less. You want just the regular rookie card logo, no rookie debut, no all-star game, or home run derby, none of that. Because um, Cody Bellinger, for example, can get confusing. But um, back to Albies. He had rookies in Series 1 and Chrome, and he had a Chrome Update rookie. And you can see that the Series 1 um, in a PSA 10 is selling for about $45. And I'll pull some of these cards up on the screen, like right here for you, so you guys can see what I'm talking about with what some of these cards look like. And this, if this were, this card in a base PSA 10 sells for 30 so it's less than the Series 1 paper, which makes sense. It came out second. It's Chrome. And then the Chrome update sells for the same as the regular Chrome, even though it came out later, which is um, kind of interesting. I mean, I guess it's kind of a testament to the pricing power that Update has, um, that Update Chromes can sell pretty, pretty well. Not as well as Update Paper, though. If Albies had an Update Paper, I mean, I think it could push the Series 1, uh, just because Update such a strong brand. But, I mean, right now what Albies is showing us is that your first paper rookie, uh, Top's flagship set, is the one that's going to dominate. So in his case, we're looking at Series 1. And uh, kind of getting on to the third example would be like Vlad Jr. and Acuna both fall into this category. So this Vlad Jr. is from Series 2 in 2019. So, he was short printed in that set. So, I mean, there are not a ton, a ton of them out there. So, you might wonder, like, there's less chance of it being widespread. Not as many people are going to get it in their hands. Is it still going to be, like, the notable card, the card that people are chasing? And people are considering his iconic rookie image. Um, what it's looked like the market is saying is yes. I mean, these are def. I mean, they're shorter printed, but they're definitely outselling the update. And they're definitely iconic. Uh, these, this card in a PSA 10 sells for 160 bucks, and the update PSA 10, which came out after this Series 2 SP, sells for 65 So, I mean, these are outselling them by a lot. You can see kind of the same thing in Acuna. His Series 2 SP is pretty iconic. I don't have one, sadly. I used to. Um, but it's the Bat Down. So, Bat Down Series 2 SP and a PSA 10 would be $1,500, while this card, like this update series 250 a base 10 not my rain this is a rainbow foil nine this is what i have but um the base 10 in this sells for 190 so i guess what's kind of interesting here to see is that you can see why having the true rookie is like so important that like as time has pressed on especially what this acuna is going to show you is that the multiple between the bat down and like the update bay update series has expanded. So there's like a chance for multiple expansion when you have the true rookie. It's going to go up in pl price faster than other of a player's rookie cards. It, those will not go up as fast. The true rookie is the one that's going to get momentum and the one that's going to give you the chance to maximize the value of your collection or investments. So I guess what's kind of interesting here to show is I showed like an example of with Bellinger, we talked about his update being his true rookie. The Albies, his Series 1 being his true rookie, and like for Acuna and or for Acuna and Vlad, like their Series 2 SPs being it. So basically, I mean, while people talk a lot about Update being like the dominant set, you really just got to be on the lookout for where a player's first paper rookie is coming. Update does carry more value, I would say, overall than Series 1 or Series 2 or Chrome, but the first paper rookie is what's going to dominate, and I think that's important to know. That's why, I mean, like, I mean, that's why you want to be targeting them. That's why it's fun to open those boxes. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, stay tuned for more videos and um, catch you next time.